In today's short video, I'm going to show you how to load biped animations onto cat rigs. Very easy to do. This functionality is built into 3ds Max. So I have this cat rig here. And the first thing to do is you want to select the cat parent, go to the motion panel, go down to this clip manager here, click on browse. By default, you won't see any biped files uh, because it defaults to cat clips. So just change this drop down to biped. Now you can see the biped files. I'm going to load in this look around animation. This little window will pop up here. The only thing you need to concern yourself here is the biped height. In this case, I know this character is about 180 centimeters tall. So we're going to click on OK. This new window will open up here that allows you to preview the captured animation. Everything mostly looks good except for the feet. This can happen sometimes, but this is no problem. What I'm going to do is I'm going to select both of the cat feet and just rotate them up into position just like that. Now you can see the feet are a little bit high, so I'm going to select the foot platforms and just move them down a bit, just like that. Now when I hit play, the animation looks good. So I can click this Capture Animation button, click on Yes, and now we've captured the animation. Just like that, a biped file loaded onto the cat rig. One other thing you might notice here is the, the character is a bit off the ground. This can happen with some biped files. It's normal and it's easy to fix. So again, let's select a part of the cat rig and in the motion panel, you can create a new layer here if you want, or you can use the existing layer. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the pelvis and both foot platforms, and then I'm just going to move the character down so the feet are on the ground. And that is it. You're done. The biped file uh, has been loaded onto the cat rig. So that's it for today. See you next time. Happy animating. Bye-bye. <laughs>